This is a really grubby pile. Looks like it's been here for about a week. But if it has, that means nobody is taking my cords, which I appreciate. So, welcome to another day of trash picking in the suburbs. Today is the day after Hurricane Isaias. But you probably won't see this video for a while because I'm kind of backlogged with my editing. That might be why this pile is in such such sad shape. It might have been hit by the hurricane. Or it might have just been a really crappy pile to begin with. In this pile right here, I see something that is very exciting to me. Hmm. Is that a military uniform? Kind of a gross military uniform. Look at this big roller. What do you think that's for? And why do you think they buried it under everything else? And what on earth would I do with it if I took it? And why is that truck so loud? And why are old tennis rackets so worthless? And why is there nothing in the Pioneer box? This pile is just filled with questions and contradictions. You know, as cool as the roller is, I don't think I'm gonna take it. I don't think I have a market for it. All these other boxes appear to be empty. And I don't think that we want G.I. Joe's old trousers and shirt. So I hope you'll accept my apologies, but this pile has been a complete and utter bust. I find that this camera picks up a lot of background noise like the weed whacker, someone's using a block away. But, haven't gotten a microphone yet. What I have got is an adorable little bucket that rolls around. Look at that. What else do we have here? Oh, check this out. It's a snow shovel with children on it. Oh, that's, that's way too far gone, but it is so cool. Look at these kids. He has like an evil look on his face, too. And here you go. You want to open a convenience store? That's for you. Cigarette display. And in here, I don't know what that is. This thing, whoa, that is so heavy. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I think it's designed to hold a sign or something.
Yeah, that's probably what it's supposed to be. You affix a sign right here. I really gotta get one of those microphones with a big furry thing on it. And I've had these before. I'll tell you exactly what this is. Something I haven't used in decades, but you find them from time to time. It's a time clock thing. Pretty worthless, but maybe somebody will buy it as like a novelty item. And the manual from a VCR, but no VCR. You must check my post office by 8.30 daily. And some boards. And a big mirror. Maybe I'll take that. Yeah. It's like a really sketchy looking pile. Oh, what, what about this? Kind of a cool basket. Just a bunch of really useless stuff, but I'm gonna take all of it. We're still seeing the effects of Hurricane Isaiah. This is the third tree that I've seen across one of the streets on the route. Makes it a little more complicated, but it's not the end of the world. I'm on a little dead end street in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if there's anything good in this pile. Foam rubber. Probably use that on the microphone on the camera. I don't know, do I take gas cans anymore? Maybe? What's this? Strap and go ladder carrier. I don't know. I gotta stop being picky. You know, I'm a little too picky about stuff, so let's see what we got over here. A brush. These little hedge clippers. They're not head. Uh, what do you call these? I don't know how to get them open. That's some metal right there. Yeah, I think I'll take these little clippers and we'll take the ladder thing you know sometimes on these days I just don't take things that could be good as I'm looking for that white whale can't see what you see. Alright, there's nothing in there. We got a few little things. So that's not bad. Look at all these leaves on the ground from Hurricane Isaiah yesterday. Look at this beautiful old stove oven it's kind of grimy though what do we have here a sink i see some brass poking out eh. nah it's mostly plastic and we got a tonka truck tonka truck why is the Tonka truck in the garbage bag? Welcome to YouTube where you can watch a guy wrestle with a garbage bag. Alright, what was the major malfunction of this Tonka truck that they put it in the garbage bag? Looks fine to me, it's got some spiders on it and whatnot. It's just rusty and it's not old, it's half plastic. 
but I'm not being picky today. So let's cut the cord off of this filthy Kenmore. This is one thing that you're gonna find yourself wondering when you're out trash picking is how is it that there are million dollar houses where the garbage piles are like this. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you exactly where I am, but let's just say you can't be poor and live in this neighborhood. But this is like really ratty trash. But we got our Tonka truck and we got our cord. We'll say goodbye to this gorgeous wood grain. What brand is this even? I don't know, KitchenAid? Kenmore, look at that. My goodness. Our safe passage has been blocked by this giant tree. Whatever shall we do? Turn around, I guess. I don't know. Do we see anything interesting in this pile? Lots of baby toys. One cord down here I can cut. This is a nice grill grate too. I should probably figure out what kind of grill this is. Charm Glow. I might be able to sell that grate. What else? More baby toys. This thing's kind of cool. Does anyone buy that though? It's like a, a rack for CDs. And we have a little bit of doll furniture. How's that for bench ends? This bench is really, really small. We can take that. Just can't sit in it. I don't think we want the baby toys. I don't know. This baby bench might be a little too fragile for us. And I don't know. That CD rack, it's cool. It's cool, but... heavy too. You know what? I'm going to take a chance and uh, see if I can sell it. It is definitely slim pickings out here, but here's a pile, so let's see if there's anything in it. Hmm. AC adapters. Transformers, but not the fun kind. Remote control. This little shopping cart's kind of cool. Yeah, this looks like leftover light fixtures and parts and stuff like that. Not really much of anything that we can use because it's probably obsolete. We might have to continue this video tomorrow because I'm just not finding anything tonight. I did find a blow mold though. I didn't record that because there was a dad and two kids at the pile, but they were kind enough to let me have the uh, Mr. Pumpkin there. It is hours later. There's a surprising number of pickers out tonight, but I haven't stopped at a pile in a long time. But I did notice that at this pile, there's some copper pipe with a brass fitting on it. Just gonna focus on that. Sometimes it's hard to get the camera to focus late at night in the dark, but it's doing its best. It's a marvel of engineering after all. But I don't think I need a hollow core door I don't think I need a folding chair. I don't think that I need a 
pool cleaning robot, so we'll take our copper pipe and, you know, I might have to do what I said before and finish this video somewhere else tomorrow. As, uh, as nice as that basketball chair is, it's just not really going to make this video any better. Here's the scrap load so far. I didn't show you grabbing this because the guy was out there. And the bench, yeah, there was a guy across the street. And this thing, the guy was there. I don't really like recording when there's people there. It's, you know, it's, it's a little weird. It's a little awkward. I see some scrap metal. Wow. Look at this. Chester copper pipes. Copper pipes. Copper tubing. More copper pipes. You know, I was just about to go home. And, uh... Thank goodness I didn't. This is a air conditioning thing. This is a big empty box that we don't need for anything. But jeez, look at all this pipe. That's gonna be like 20 pounds of copper. All right, we'll get it all folded up and put it in the back. So there's the fin and the electric motor and housing. I couldn't get the motor out, so I'll take it out later. And here's all this beautiful copper. Look at this stuff. And here's a concrete thing that we haven't found yet. So uh, let's not look at that. And now we just gotta find a screw that I dropped on the ground. Oh, here it is. That would have been bad news for somebody. So don't ever leave a screw on the street like that. We're gonna go across the street and look at a bike, but we gotta be quiet. I think it's either a Magna or a Marin, so let's go. Yup. Sorry. It was a Magna, and no offense if you have a Magna and you enjoy it, great, good for you, but Magnas don't really sell that well for me. I guess this is gonna be our last pile tonight. I don't know if I'll try to cobble this together into a video or maybe get some more footage tomorrow. We'll see. We got this beautiful pool pump motor and next to it, look at this piece of copper. I'm walking into these people's yard. I probably shouldn't be doing that, huh? I'm stepping, stepping on their rhododendrons or whatever. Look how long that is huge and then this is fantastic this is it looks kind of old and I'm guessing what this is is either a pedestal to put like a flower pot on or maybe it was a leg for a bench sometimes you find two concrete pedestals and then you have a bench that goes across the top it's a little bit lightweight for that but whatever it is it's a cool thing this thing is uh that's too roached out, and I don't know what this is. So, I'm gonna wrap this up two ways. Either A, I'll see you tomorrow, or B, I appreciate you guys coming along with me tonight. So if I see you tomorrow, I see you tomorrow, and if not, if I decide that I have enough clips to make this into a whole video, then uh, thanks so much for watching.